It looks like Ubisoft is bringing lightsabers to the Helix store as well as this new elemental weapon pack that dishes out poison and firebomb explosions if you make the correct dance steps to trigger it. Now all of this has been found in the game files thanks to PEDA, Q and Ibsarp so no confirmed release date as of yet but expect to see them within the next 60 days. And let's have a look at these lightsabers first as they've been officially described as a vibrant weapon pack containing ancient Isu energies which are seemingly formed out of nothing but light itself. Now of course Ubisoft can't just go ahead and call them lightsabers for obvious copyright purposes but we all know what the deal is here you've got a Kylo Ren's fragmented red blade Mace Windu's purple saber and a Jedi Guardian and Jedi Knight blue and green swords to choose from in fact when you holster both of the weapons the sabers themselves actually disappear into the hill and then reappear when you withdraw them just as you would with a lightsaber you can also see this happen when you open up the infantry screen so I think Ubisoft are being as obvious as they can when it comes to these weapons and what they're actually based on as for special effects though nothing shocking or star when it comes to combat they act as a normal one-handed sword but when it comes to their stats they do have an interesting one-shot mechanic at play here let's take a look at the red vibrant lightsaber as an example it's said that the special attacks produced by this weapon have a chance to instantly kill low health enemies with none of these swords triggering on elites or bosses so the enemy has to have their health below the 50% threshold and when that happens you have a 45% chance of one-shotting it if you use the special attack move with this equipped now the same mechanics applied to all of these other lightsabers but are subtly different so I'll pop their individual stat pages on the screen now if you're interested but I don't want to waste the next minute or so of your time going through pretty much the same stats of each one but that said if you have found this first look breakdown informative so far please do leave a very swift like down below it genuinely helps me out on YouTube so thanks very much and let's break down these fantastical elemental weapons now we have four here two one-handed short swords and two larger great swords with a little bit more variety on the effects each one produces the Vorpal cut Cutlass is described as unveiling its complex mechanical mechanisms when it's unsheathed or equipped, which as you can see here is quite cool and a very subtle animation if you like this kind of aesthetic. As for its stats though, a perfect attack causes a small poison cloud explosion to appear when successfully landed on the enemy. And if you weren't aware what a perfect attack is, that's when you press your attack button while mid swing to then do more damage. You've just got to get it bang on for it to actually activate. Now the next short sword is called the Furling Blade, which is different in aesthetic design to the Vorpal Cutlass but still follows the same concept that being a subtle motion animation when equipping the sword for combat as well as a perfect attack causing an explosion but instead of poison you'll be dealing fire damage now if you do like this thematic style of weapons then it may be worth a consideration as they are clearly intended to be used as dual wielding one-handed swords resulting in fire and poison explosions during combat but when it comes to the amalgam weapon though this great sword offers double damage when you reach eight stacks the catch being you need to get hit by the enemy four times and every time you hit an enemy that also increases the stat gain by one. In short this is an absolutely terrible perk but the design and movement animations on the weapon do look quite cool with Ubisoft describing it as being too large so if you like running around with a big weapon this may be the transmog option for you but speaking of big weapons there's also this elemental claymore here which conjures a beam of light that extends from the blade after you perform a special attack which deals bonus damage to the enemy's defenses. Now even though this claymore looks like it's twice the size of Eivor it's it's nothing to shout home about in terms of damage or output but perhaps you like the design of it and if so it'll be a good transmark option for you as there is better performing great swords out there now if you weren't aware ubisoft are bringing a new japanese samurai armor set to valhalla called the ghost obviously a very sneaky nod to ghost of shishima there especially with the awesome looking katanas and the recent ac japan announcement so click the video on your screen to get the full breakdown of that armor set and i'll see you there in just a second big thanks to Pedder, q ibsarp jabakan and nika for contributing to this video and all of you in the reloads club who support me via youtube membership coffee is on all of you and i'll catch you in that next video